Hello, everybody. It's Top 8 time. I'm here with Chris Ioli. What up? Um, Colin said a funny joke earlier whenever you were announced as, I think, Top 30 today. <laughs> it was, it was, I think it's pronounced Aioli, and it made me laugh so <laughs> No, no, it's Ioli. <laughs> Um, welcome to the booth. First yeah, time you, you. on, uh, I'm going to be a caster instead of I'm going to be, um, interviewed for beating someone by 40. <laughs> How does it feel to be here? Um, no, I'm excited. It's going to be a dramatic top eight. Some people are still fighting for their, uh, top 16 spot in the seasonal leaderboard. So hell yeah. Excited to see what happens. One of those people, let's click this button, is Angel Benitez has to win to get in against our 6-0 Reinar player, Andrew Para. So we're doing some brute-on-brute brute action. Which one of these is your favorite brute to play? I mean, I've been interested in the Vaya for sure. Um, we heard that we think Reinar might be a little favored in the matchup, but I'm excited to see what if the new cards can change anything. I think uh, what, what Reinar does have going for him is Levio wants to be in control of her life total between 20 and 10. And if you get intimidated pretty hardcore and you're wanting to block out because, okay, I have five blood debt. I'm at 18 health. I can block out and go down. If, if we're go down appropriately and transform, if you take all those cards away and then they don't have block, you can blow through the 13 life th threshold and really ruin their deck. Yeah, right. It seems like most of the Le Levia builds have been built to transform into the Blasphemate. Yeah, I mean, that, that so. is the way to go. Mm -hmm. I think Redeemed is kind of like a, I, this is a last minute effort, or maybe this is more of a blitz technique. It always feels like whenever there's 15 blood deck cards in my grave, what is it called, Banish Zone, and I'm transforming, it's like now I have a 15 card hand that I can play out at appropriate times, and it's just gross. Mm -hmm. So it looks like Reinhardt's the first seed. Do you think he's choosing to go first or second in this? You match? gotta go first, bro. Let's get some damage in <laughs> and like, yes, you you set up your Levia opponent's graveyard, which I know most people will be like, don't attack Levia. You put a you put a arsenal card. You don't give him the ability to maybe do the the nine damage attack or a dread screamer right away. Mm -hmm. But half the battle for Reinar is if you can do ten damage on turn one and you turn your player your opponent into a Kano, you can beat a lot of people that way. Yeah, that's fair. Is the matchup more of a race, or is it? I haven't played Reinar in two weeks. <laughs> I don't know how this. <laughs> I don't know how this ish works. Um, I I think the flesh bag is like, who's using the flesh bag better? And Levia could die if you flesh bag in the right way. Of like, oh, you haven't banished a card yet. Is the card in your hand the mark of the beast that you were gonna play second? Like, there's certain things there that I think. There is some nuance. Not everyone can pick up Levia and play it at a high level, I don't think. Angel is the person who's been playing Levia the longest in our meta in Pasadena. So it is, like, this is great job, Angel. You're, you're on top eight on another different hero, but it's your pet hero, your, your first love that now has gas. I think there is, like, Slitherpeed alone probably craps on Reinar a little bit of, like, anytime I pitch a blue, I can do a Dread Screamer into a Slitherpeed for 12 off of one blue. Yeah, uh, that's disgusting. I like what you said about the flesh bag, and both of them are going to be presenting claws here, and I think we'll see the flesh bag used most likely on the blood rush battle turns. Oh yeah. So, we'll like see. it, it basically yeah. says. I, I think that's one way you can think about a brute player is like, oh, did you win? Oh, you played all three. F you all played all three uh, blood rushes, and you win. And it's basically taking one blood rush away from your opponent. And, and limiting that turn to maybe just 10 damage from a claw instead of 10 plus 10 plus 8 plus 8. And now there's a 26 damage turn that came at you. We saw Angel do that earlier against somebody unsuspecting. It looks like Andrew made Angel go first. And we're he starting off. He scab skin <laughs> yeah. Two action points on the first turn. I think Gambler's Glove, I've been floating this topic to a bunch of people. And everyone looks at me like I have three heads when I say it. But, like, maybe Gambler's Glove gets into... I keep losing to Levia. How do I stop losing to Levia? I'm going to play Gambler's Glove myself and ruin my opponent's turn one time. <laughs> Just the blitz technique? Yeah, but <laughs> on a grand scale. That's a low power five. Like, that's not fun. There's no, there's no card in our graveyard yet. Yeah, I think 
I think Angel definitely would have preferred to attack for six and get a card in his graveyard right there, but. <laughs> Law for three yellow? Is he going to sigil to go again, turn his dragons on or something? What is going on? Slow <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll start to this game. Maybe it is kind of a chicken thing. If, if you're, I mean, and if you're playing defensive cards in an aggro matchup. I think that's one thing. Like, yes, these people have both top aided. When's the last time you top aided, Blake? Okay, we get it. But, and it, people are saying it's Leviathan, like Leviathan. My grandma, I'm growing up, pronounced Le Leviathan. So sorry, you guys. That's why I'm saying it wrong. Um, Claw for three is so <laughs> bad, though. Yeah, so we can see We're Andrew's hand. It looks like he has two favor scenes in a sink. And Angel why don't you has. them away. <laughs> Angel has a Command and Conquer here, which is going to be. Oof. Pretty brutal against Get the D React hand. I think what's interesting too is the uh, we're doing our chess pieces are oh, lock it. six or get two free resources. Two fives in a row. I guess Angel's on the roll as much as you want plan. And that only backfires if my opponent ever uses their own gambler's glove against me. Claw, claw. This could be 46 claws in a row. <laughs> I think there's going to be claw in the CNC, which. I mean, he better use. He's gonna use a D react on the three first three D reacts yeah. on this first claw. <laughs> <laughs> good thing to use the one from Arsenal. That's always good practice. He uses to keep his hand. The next one could be worse. And hates to see the CNC. You can see Connor <laughs> stare at Andrew. Take six. I don't care. I'm gonna be pitching these cards. <laughs> Andrew's having a good day though. But good days for Reinhardt. Do they last nine rounds or do they usually last five and a half rounds? I heard he was farming briars all over. He's literally murdering them. <laughs> there, <laughs> we do see the pitch two reds to claw this time. It feels like you could have done that last time, but in, 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 here and there, 2020 vision. We're doing our best today. I just noticed Reinhardt's playing Heart and Cross Trap here. Yes, that's what I was trying to say earlier. So that's that's probably your. I want to use a uh, Blood Rush turn. I'm gonna Claw Claw. Then I'm going to like Pulping or Wild Ride if we have these cards available to us. Andrew Parr is not playing Wild Ride. Andrew Parr is not playing Pulping. So everything I just said was pointless. <laughs> Do we have a top Another? eight to show everybody uh, the button? This is what it looks like for everybody because we are asking Angel versus Andrew in the in the Brute matchup. Bravo versus Lexi. That's a win and in for Evan. Peter versus Tyler. That's a fun one. And then just Briar in the bottom bracket. But let's let's see what happened here. Boneyard Marauder, bro. Top three cards out of my graveyard, basically. Yep. And we had another scouting roll for two action points. So there will be a follow-up to this again. We got some spam Masubi coming. Oh, that's on fire, dude. <laughs> that's so hot. <laughs> wow. That's good. This is Boneyard Marauder. What does this do? This is just six. Yep, just vanilla six damage. But it comes in for one. The cost is one. That's that's what the banished six cards does for you. Lowers the cost to one. So it's Slitherpede, but crappy. <laughs> But turns out blood dead. Slitherpeed can't turn blood off blood dead off. Maybe that's yeah, Slithering nice Shadow Peed is such a good addition to these decks. That is the first one for six with no drawback, All unless right. you count no blocking the drawback. This is a pretty good one for six two diabolic offering. And it will be full blocked. Did Andrew so we just did deck check. <laughs> We put all your reds and your blues together. <laughs> I heard Connor say, Andrew, make sure you shuffle. I think Andrew drew all five sinks and fates in six cards. Because he's played two, he pitched two. So that's at least four of them. We saw the blood rush go in Andrew's hand. Here's the fourth roll for Angel already. Oh six? <laughs> Brute main. <laughs> Miss Bob to celebrate. <laughs> Three action points. Do we have enough to do with it? We have no arsenal card. See I don't think there's anything we can do from our blood debt yet. I see another command and conquer and two blues. So it might be claw, claw, command and conquer. Dude. 
This is not working out for Andrew at all. But I know he has a blood rush, so I think he's like, okay, I'm going to do my 24 damage right now. Yep. Well, that sucks because <laughs> we don't... Oh, you should have flashback. What were you doing, dude? Well, he still has a card in hand. I think his last card is Mark of the Beast, if I'm not mistaken. Not the card you usually want to arsenal. Is Mark that... Mark of the Beast is the one... Oh, sure. <laughs> Two seconds. Mark of the Beast is the one that you play it and it immediately banishes. Yeah, like no matter, whenever it goes to the graveyard, it immediately. Okay, Blood Rush. All right. You have to do 30 to make what you did more than. <laughs> Let's see if he can do 30. So does An I guess Angel doesn't have any blood debt in his Spanish on there. No. Right? Yeah. He's very good at putting the dice on there. Currently, I don't think there's anything. The next time he uses a graveyard thing, it will happen. Taking 20 damage is crazy, though, Andrew. Yeah, this is going to be hard to come back from, I think. Left or right? What do you want? Let's do right. Uh, a race phase? You took 20 damage to play in a race phase? Okay, he does use these Reinar. We saw all these Reinars in his deck box during deck check. He's using it to show Intimidate Trigger. We're a roller for this. This is great. Get rid of that one, please. Draw two cards. They got to be good ones. We got a claw for five already on board. And we don't forget the cross strap. That that helps out. So claw for five. I think Angel's hard. literally gonna say, as long as you didn't get don't get me to twenty, I'm gonna just take whatever. So oh, just kidding. This is what I was talking about, using the flesh bag on the blood rush bellow turns. It's oh, he said I don't roll for anything. Intimidate. <laughs> Shut up. Fingers crossed. I wonder if he played Olivia today. It's a yellow barraging. He's got no floating, so this is going to be the rest of his turn. Mm. Oh, but he does have the heart and crash trap still. And he is going to pop it for skull. Skull crack. crack for eight. So five plus five plus eight. We still got there using our, our resources. So an 18 damage turn, but only 11 gets through. Does that make sense? Because he blocked with flesh bag and he blocked with three. So he blocked five of 18. That doesn't make sense. That should be 27. How did that two damage get blocked? Yeah, they might have missed the. There you go. They fixed it. Oh, Blake, you're so good at Reiner Math. Let's go. All right, so Dread Screamer gonna banish the cards. I don't think he can miss on this one. So I we'll be having it so. will have go again. I like that Diabolic Offering doesn't count as a hit. I think that's some good card design. But we hit a command and conquer, so that'll turn off Blood Debt and turn on Dread Screamer to give it go again. Have you been playing against Levia decks where they play Dread Screamers like seven times? I've been playing Levia. As <laughs> Dread Screamer <laughs> guy? <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> I think, I think she's a lot of fun, and I think she's got a lot of powerful new tools. Is that the most point goblin you can be? Is Levia now? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> like if this is a red Gravin girl right here, you're about to get gobbled. Oh, it's a uh, slither it's bead. A slither bead still, or a shadow bead, right? S slithering shadow. Yeah, bead. I'm putting the two words together. <laughs> All the alliteration in this game. Do you like that card design? Is it, the <laughs> cards always have to be? It's fun. Two words together that make the same <laughs> thing, unless it's Iron Song. <laughs> it's not a lot of I words that go with Iron Song. That was a weird noise. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Looks like you got a message. Oh, I threw up the three. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> They're like they want to buy it. Hopefully, it's the Prism card, and I regret it for the rest of my life. <laughs> We're pitching Doomsday, so we'll, that guy won't be a, a thing this game. Is this last yellow? Moment. Yeah, Dread is. Screamer yellow. So Angel is on all nine Dread Screamers. I think if you're playing Levia and not on nine, you're you're kind of blowing it. <laughs> it's just too good to not do that. We are going to hit on this, but it's going to make our graveyard pretty bare for the next go-round. Because this Dread Screamer is a yellow one, and it won't be a trigger. So he's going to have to play a trigger from his hand. Or it may get a little dicey soon. Pitches the doomsday. I can't read that green thing. Is that that's three, right? Dice, yeah. 
I believe he has three blood debt now. That's what he's doing for his blood debt. When you're playing Levia, are you beating people, or is it something you got to learn a lot? I think she's tough, yeah. I think there's a little bit of a learning curve to her, so. Um, a rolling scab after Dread Scream. Pro move? Never punish? Yeah. <laughs> use your use your gambler's club, bro. What are you doing? Claw. claw this is a mark just boring the three claw. But what's coming after? There's two floating still. This is about to be something gross from it's Arsenal. It's probably going to be the Mark of the Beast that we saw earlier. Just going to add to his blood debt count. Alan looking on to say, this should have been me, man. So do you think you want to transform into Blasphemant in this matchup also? Is it every matchup? I think Blasphemant seems so much better to me than Redeemed. Because you get access to all those cards. Like, I think just literally just the thought process of every Dread Screamer I already played is available to, be available to me for the rest of the game is crazy. Like, absolutely crazy of... I can do 18 damage a turn, just three sixes to my opponent pretty easily with maybe two blues, or the idea of using the nine damage attack. I don't know if that's, that's not Deadwood Rumbler, it's not Boneyard Marauder, Endless but it's Maw. Endless Maw. Doing six plus nine and your opponent has 12 block, you're always gonna get three in, and by the time you're doing Blasphemy Transform, they're Is probably around cards? 15 health. Can't do that. <laughs> You can't Wormongers? Oh, he couldn't. He was trying to play Dread Screamer, but he only had two cards in his graveyard. Oh, no. Angel, what are you doing? Oh. Now he's throwing dice <laughs> in crotch? <laughs> Connor's like, I've seen this before. That is an IP penalty. What is it? Oh, Six. My gosh. Use your gambler's <laughs> club, Andrew, it, please. It, it looks like he's thinking about it this time, at least. Yes, this is the time. You're not going to use it offensively. You're going to be on defense the rest of the time. There we go. This is why you play brutes on brute violence. No this is a one right now. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's on okay, fire. he gets rid of one action point, but not two. You got another brute in the background. I see Alan, uh, no. Alan back there watching over. Connor looked at some brute cards <laughs> once a year ago. <laughs> this is claw for three. Not that exciting. Warmongers and Levia, that's interesting. Maybe you're tired about losing to Le uh, Azalea every once in a while. Just auto crush her. Does it? Do you think it affects the brutes, or does it affect Rhino a lot? You can't blood rush, so that sucks. Yeah. Do you think it's worth it to play it in that situation? I mean, if you're losing to Levia and you're like, okay, I want to get rid of, there's probably two card blood dripping frenzy has really not shown up too much in t my testing against people, but it does say like I I know maybe. A Dread Screamer into another six is the most thing, so 12 instead of 20. Like, get off of me. Like, take nine and Warmonger. Like, block nine and Warmongers maybe makes sense. All right, so we saw Andrew block with the flesh bag there. It seems a little desperate. Feels on the back foot. That turn didn't seem too threatening with just the claw for three. Right. But, but maybe he has Mark a three-card hand, and then this turns out to be a Blood Rush turn. Oh, he has a four-card hand and an Arsenal. So Mark we're expecting Blood Rush. We'll turn off the Blood Debt. There's Notably, the blood he rush. still only has two cards in his graveyard Ooh. for next turn. So, Not good. He'll be looking to block a little bit this turn, I think. Ooh, rolled a one, but it's the good one. We're going to put that back in the deck because it's Reincarnate. I'm back from the dead. Here's an Intimidate trigger. If you're looking to try and hit a card that has block value on it. <laughs> Great. Nobody gets to see that card. Draw two. And now here's your, we need to do a bunch of damage turn. There's no flesh bag. However, there is a husk. So the first six damage attack that bumps to eight, I think, will be husk. Just to give Angel some more breathing room. Let's see what the follow-up is. I see a Command and Conquer in his hand, I think. That does not get bonus from Blood Rush. That's yeah. not good at all. Is that two card? Which is crazy. Like, Andrew does have a lot of sixes in his deck that aren't brute-based. So if you draw those on Blood Rush, not the greatest. Claw Claw is 10, though. Which card is that? Is that Clearing Bellow? Or that is Clearing Bellow. The original second best card from Dory versus Reinhardt. We're going to do Barraging first, if you let me. Sure, bud. 
I get it. Going to intimidate one more. All right. Can he get him from 25 down to 12? That is that is the goal here. So this will get the bonus from the barraging. He's only got one card in hand. If it's a no block, it's going to be a juicy damage. This is a claw for seven, I believe. There's yellow barraging beatdowns too, though. That's an interesting choice. I do think this deck list is not a beginner Reinar deck list. This is a I know what I'm doing Reinar deck list, which always does suck whenever somebody does really well with cart with decks like this. It was two Command and Conquerors and a Carrion. Yeah, that uh, sucks, man. <laughs> that sucks. Carrion has doing what it's been doing <laughs> since Monarch first uh, came out. Yeah, I don't care how many cards you intimidate from my hand. I have Husk still. All right. Now his graveyard's filled up. We'll probably see the Dredge Screamer again. It's like two Dredge Screamers in his hand. Oh, okay, just just the nine damage one. Make sure his blood debt stays turned off. He's got a nice little life lead. Let's do this one. Oh my god, the way he does it is so crazy. Also... Kind of scary playing Beast Within in Levia now because you could accidentally Beast Within yourself past to 13 <laughs> and miss out on your transformation. I think one thing that's going to suck is when people realize how to play against Levia. Now Levia will play like one Sigil or maybe Grim Feast to go back to 14 and then take Blood Dut. And then you're like, oh my god, I hate this. <laughs> Like, the agency is so with the Levia player that, or we're going to say Levia one day, I promise. The the agency is with Levia, and it's just so good. Dude, what is in Levia's background? She's got flowers going, too, or is that ashes in her background? That's like four heroes that all have something. Oh, I guess Reinar has, like, cinders coming up from there. <laughs> That's crazy. That must have been an artist's mandatory note on their stuff. <laughs> The only thing that I saw that was weird from Angel earlier is he blocked with Swing Big, which I don't care who you are or which brute you'll ever be. Swing Big is your best math card. Yeah, speaking of Swing Big, we see it here. I do see a Blood Rush in Angel's hand, so don't imagine he'll be blocking this too much. Oh, you're just going to throw five. Scab Skins plus Graveling Growl. No quick and token made. That's an interesting block considering he has the Dredge Screamer in Arsenal. Because the yellow Graveling Growl is a sex, so that, that still counts as a hit, right? Yeah. It's also one of your best follow ups, I think. Right. Pitch one. Ooh, I've got my own. I've got two Blood That's Rush. Two. Okay. I had to block pulping. with that one. Yeah. Discard's pulping. He's going to be looking for some resource cards here. Is that Art of War or some other red See, looking Art card? of War and a blue Dredge Screamer. So we can do Claw Claw. Dredge Screamer. I think it's a little greedy here to play the Art of War and banish the blue in your hand. You want to get the maximum value out of your claws here. Right. Just play a blue and claw. And then do Dredge Screamer at the end. The damage alone, like 5 plus 5 plus 7. Yeah. 17 damage. Not going to be a good clapback turn from Andrew at all. We're going to put dice on there. That'll be for five. I'm going to block with a non-tech action so I don't bump up your soul. That's a different hero. Take one. Claw for number two for five more. Uh, interesting thing here is we could actually see just Angel pass after this instead of attacking with the Dredge Screamer. I don't think I would hate that. I would let him transform if he wanted to. But no, he is going to play the Dredge Screamer. I think that's interesting to like, just go for the kill, because you know that a two card from Reinar is not gonna do thirteen damage. He'll just go, what did what did you say? Five, six? I'll take six. Go down to like five, and you're transformed, and just use your whole banish zone to kill them immediately. Like, it is. There are some heroes that I think are just locked out from beating Le Leviah. Yeah, I do think he chooses the correct line, just threaten the seven damage. Andrew still can't say no blocks to this, and we can. We're still like going to be safe to transform in the future if we whiff on turning off blood debt. 
And if Andrew needs to use his scab skins ever, we can <laughs> handler's glove hit to one and ruin his life. Oops. I'd be surprised <laughs> if Andrew gets another four card hand this game. Okay, he's doing his best, okay? <laughs> 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 I think that's the thing that sucks is right now you're like, I had such a great tournament. Who's your top eight matchup? Don't worry about it. What happened afterward? Don't worry about it. We had to we had to scoop early. I had to go home. <laughs> that's what I would say. But like if you're getting a haircut on Monday and somebody asks you how the tournament went or your mom calls, you'd be like, Just sucks that we couldn't do top eight. I was really <laughs> on a heater. <laughs> Did your mom ask you about card games? She probably did when you yeah, won $20,000. Like, this is sick. You should do this more. Yeah, you should play Battle Spirit Saga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she she would have told me to avoid that, I think. Oh, Walking no. Walking with the third blood rush. That's going to be painful. Your mom just buys you MetaZoo for Christmas. And is, Isn't this what you like? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> The, the council says, okay, so Angel has four cards. Andrew has four cards and an arsenal. So if one of those is... Oh. Starting off with Art of War. Art of War is always a banish for Shadow Heroes because you, you get to turn all your stuff on and draw two cards. You might as well just write Shadow on Art of War. Shadow or Ninja on it. True. And when Shadow Ninja shows up, we're all dead. <laughs> I think you probably chose Go again here. Let's With the Slitherpeed? Give that six. Plus one and Go again. No, you can't do all three of those. So Go <laughs> again and draw two cards. Dude, when they play two Art of Wars on you, draw four plus one and Go again. Yikes. That's a full on get me out of here, coach. That's a swing. Okay, block four. I hit the six. I'll do two to you. Dude, doing two damage and taking them from 14 to 12, that's the pro move. And die. Yep. No! <laughs> you got to hope you hit. That's the one six. Oh! No, there's a blue record romp. That's going to bump it to nine. I'm going to use my other one of these. <laughs> Dude, taking you from 18 to 14. Takes five. Take five to the face. Game. Sheesh. I don't know what was going on that first half. Impressive it, showing. It, it maybe was like, let's let's try to, let's try this out. I think drawing five of your defensive cards in your first seven cards is probably not what you want to do. You've got to shuffle very hard after deck check. Um... How did it feel? You know, just first brew game in oh, that top was awesome. eight. That was impressive. It was, um, yeah, I think it was pretty impressive. A lot of, a lot of big damage turns early from the Leviya, and we saw, we saw the Reinar take twenty damage to try to swing <laughs> back with Blood Rush. But yeah. Five plus five plus six after taking twenty. Yeah, Reinar played the first two Blood Rush Bellows that game, and Leviya still had like a ten point lead. Which was and I, I think that's crazy. that's so interesting of the thought process of there's a lot of this is a deck list you will see online. <laughs> um Amnesia's in here, Command and Conquer's in here, Enlightened Strikes on here, Erase Face is on here. That's literally over eleven attacks that don't go with Blood Rush. Yeah. yeah. And that's something where when you when you win with this deck, you're a genius. And everyone is like, oh, tell me more. I, I think there's some there's some lines of thinking where it's like, I'll play Command and Conquers because that's the best on hit in the game. But I need to get everything else as a brood card so we can get 5 plus 5 plus 8 or 5 plus 5 plus 10 with big swing, swing big. All of those are so important. And then, like, if you draw Sync Belows and Fates when you need to race, I, I, there's a thing where it's like, if we're racing and I'm trying to get my opponent from 20 to 10 as fast as possible... Who cares about blocking well? Yeah, I mean, to be fair, he did win a lot today. He did win. He did win six yeah. times. Six zero. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In Swiss, but he Carrion, did lose once. though. Carrion Husk is a hell of a card <laughs> against Command and Conquer. Yeah. Scowling Fleshbag. I think we talked about the person who wins going to play it better. Scowling Fleshbag played better by Leviah. I think so. Yeah. Which Leviah? Who? Who's okay? Leviah versus either Evan or Alex for. 
So what so what does the result of this matchup do for the uh, top 16 standings? So what this does is I pushed that button. That was the interesting one. Top eight standings. We are the people. This is not. Oh, this is the new stuff. Oh, wow. Everyone feast your eyes. So Zach Walk could still get the number one overall, which would be crazy. Jake Torres will be dropping because, is it so, Jake or so Travis? Sh so did Angel pass Jake? Is that right? Or oh, so our tiebreaker is the amount of top eights if you're tied. So technically, on this graphic, Travis should be above Jake. So Jake Torres can stay in Arizona next month while everyone else travels here. Unless he wants to just travel with the boys one more time. Devastating, though. Yeah. <laughs> Devastating. Missouri takes a hard hit. No Missouri's in top eight today. Is, are there heroes that you're like, I promise you this hero's better? But it's just our local meta that they suck at. Is is that happening at all for you? Mm. Uh. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think I think people are trying new things today and having some fun. Um, but that's why you were on Katsu, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> no, I think Katsu is still yeah. strong, and uh, I think I think there's a lot of viable decks in this format, and uh, I've, so far I've really enjoyed it. I mean, there's seven heroes in top eight. That's almost as diverse as you can get. Yeah, I know, Briar. Briar's a problem. I can't believe Briar got seven <laughs> cards. <laughs> She's been insane. Anthem of Spring, dude. Plus yeah. one and go again. Mm -hmm. Or block, way better than ever. Uh, one card that I'm wondering why it hasn't made in more decks is Sensor. Is that a thing? Or who cares, Blake? Yeah, it's tough. Like, you have to have a pretty good read on your opponent's hand. Right. Um. Because you could Kadachi, Kadachi, Sensor. Oh, in? One plus one plus five. What about in Katsu? Or in just in anything. I'm, I'm just <laughs> putting it to you today because you're a Katsu main now. But. It's tough. Like, it doesn't have go again. Um, it's not a zero cost, zero cost to pitch to Katsu. Right. But it's a maybe take like, the tempo, but it messes your point. Yeah, up. maybe in a more mid range build mm -hmm. where uh, you're focused on blocking a lot more and just like swinging your Kadachis. Instead of focused more on the Surge and Strike combo line. Is that what you were doing today, is Surge and Strike? Yeah. Because we saw some Zephyr Needles from Bill. <laughs> I saw that, yeah. And I think he was using it as, if I have a Frailty token, who gives a? Because I can still <laughs> attack with one with Zephyr. And I know you're not going to block the Zephyr Needle because you need all the cards in your stuff. <laughs> it's most played in Katsu? Sensor is? Oh, that's is that real? I don't even know what Febrec is. What is that? What does that mean? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> fabric recommendation. Oh, that's Joanne's fabric. Got it. Um, what else is going in your mind between here and nationals? Is it I'm playing Monarch Draft five times a day, yeah. and I'm gonna come up and breathe after I get two three O's in a row? Yeah. No, we've been drafting a lot. Um, we just started focusing a lot more on classic constructed though. Okay. Like we. We took the time between um, the Pro Tour and uh, Spoiler Season to focus on Draft. Got and it. now we're focusing a lot more on Classic Constructed. Trying all the new heroes. Trying to figure out what's good. Are you uh, on that Spectral Shield Prism build? No. We'll leave that, that to Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> makes 36 Spectral Shields and then swings Symbio. Or what's the one there? I oh, saw that in the chat. Procession. I was like, oh, my God. Spectral Procession, right? The, yeah. the user already took 26 down. It was at negative, negative 12 health. I was like, <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, I think we have some some of our players working on Prism a little bit. Andrew and Tyler, I think, will nice. be working on it. But um, yeah, Like I said, I've been focused on the Brutes and trying to make Vincent work. Nice. Uh, Vincent, why are more people not just stacking Rune Gates in the – Graveyard or Banish Zone for turns and turns, and then let's do three in one turn, Shadow Puppetry and Mavrin Skies to do that. Yeah, no, it's... Is it that good enough or no? I think uh, I think we'll start to see the playstyle evolve into something similar like that. Because I think if you're playing Vincent to the point where you're just like attacking once each turn, I think they can block you out and not care. But I think... If 
the Vincent realizes that and tries to set up big turns like that, that's like how they're gonna get the most value out of their uh their game like more wins I should say. Oh yeah. But. Lost in thought. Does that crush Katsu and make that make that a more fifty fifty matchup? Or are you like I I'm still gonna beat most Dromai's because of how our decks work. You yeah, know that card's pretty good. I yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed with that card. Then. Get rid of surging <laughs> strike and. Give you a ponder that gets you nothing later on. A little. All right. So I heard that. We got top eight. Oh, wow. So Peter beat Tyler. Wow. Tyler takes a hard hit. Does he? Is he getting knocked out live? Or he's in already? Oh, crap. <laughs> 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 but Evan versus Alex is still going. I know Bravo is kind of a not great matchup for Lexi, but. Uh, Evan, the last time I played Bravo into him, was using Artivores defensively, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, I think Evan is still fighting for that top 16 spot, so right. he's trying to win and secure his invite to the Invitational. So definitely pray for him to lose. <laughs> Jeez. Because <laughs> we need him to judge, you know? <laughs> Stick to your lane. It's kind of crazy kinda. that we thought... The real angel of Herald of Erudition or Angel of Erudition is Angel Benitez. <laughs> it's an angel meta. Just we were talking about the dude, not not the Karns figmented. So who do you want to see win this top eight? Who do I want to see win this top eight? Let's go right back because I forgot all their names. Um, I do want to say that Peter Budensick is dialed in today. I don't know if you usually root for him very much or not. Um, but Peter Budensick got on a plane at like four in the morning. And, like, like was here at Starbucks for three hours. He's, like, been shuffling all day. <laughs> I think this is, like, like literally a business high. trip for him where he <laughs> wants $400. And so I think that there's something romantic about that of, like, somebody puts in that much effort and it pays off instead of being, like, uh, yeah, I'm just trying a new deck. We'll see what happens. And then that person wins. is like, that's interesting. But, like, somebody coming in and wanting to throw their their sh their main shot at it and it working out is yeah, cool. The only wizard today, right? Only wizard that that would put people on AB and like make five more people play wizard. Yeah, I'm a little surprised better. based on like the results from the last battle hardened with uh Icelander taking it down that that nobody cared. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we had some Icelanders here during the Roger National season and right. And so oh no, Evan just lost. Wow. Dude, how is Briar losing to Dromice? <laughs> is it literally just lost in thought? Just said, oh, I don't care about Runeblade anymore either? Just a Zach Diff. And there's no, what is it called? No Viscera? I guess there was only one, so whatever. But <laughs> <laughs> There was like vis 100 Viscera last week at that that bigger Battle Heart in, right? Oh, yeah, there were there were a bunch of Viscerais, but Briar had the way better performance. So I wouldn't be surprised to see. Briar is taking that meta share going yeah. forward, but but you will be surprised to see Evan playing next month because he's lost. He's out. He's out. <laughs> so Travis, if you're paying attention on the radio, you're in, baby. <laughs> or maybe Travis is in the back here and we can see him jump for joy. Do you see Travis anywhere? Do you know who Travis is? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's the he plays ninja. He was on Dromai today. Um, that's our top eight match. We're gonna. We're gonna take a quick break and then we're gonna let's let's just pick it live. What are we we're gonna click the top eight then? Uh, Peter versus Zach or Angel versus Alex. I think we're just gonna follow Angel all day long because Levy is the new thing because every every other deck is an hour months and <laughs> years old. We'll get to see some what is it called? Starstruck going yeah, on? We saw Alex Starstruck um, doesn't even work against Levy. That's actually bad yeah. for yeah. You, <laughs> you go That's reckless combo, swing, I and guess, now I can play <laughs> Slitherpeed. dude. Okay, well we'll see you guys in two minutes. Put your laundry in the dryer. Put your egg on the frying pan, <laughs> and then come back for that. Yeah, see you soon.